Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Hollywood Beauty Awards founder Michelle Elizabeth, President Otis Stokes, and executive producer Pamela Price. annual Hollywood Beauty Award. It's such a pleasure to have you join the to celebrate the architects of beauty, and we need to do that. We have some incredible talent here tonight, and also some special guests coming all over, uh, all from Paris, all the way from Paris. That's the cast of Les Anges. Where are Les Anges? Hey! <laughs> Bienvenue! <laughs> Let's give a big round of applause for Les Anges. Woo! Congrats to our K-Earth 101 Radio and Win Las Vegas contest winners who are here with us tonight. For the newcomers to the HBAs, nominee submissions and votes are led by our board, which includes professionals in the industry, award-winning hairstylists, makeup artists, photographers, agents, and more. I'm excited to join the ladies tonight on stage, and I would like to acknowledge that they are the brains behind this wonderful event. So please give them a round of applause. Oh, yes. <laughs> and of course, being the Hollywood beauties, I represent the beauty. Thank you. Obviously. This year we're thrilled to um, um, have a new honor, honoree category, the gentleman of the year, Mr. Smokey Robinson, everybody. <laughs> Without any further ado, for the fourth consecutive year, it is our pleasure to welcome your host for the evening, K-Earth 101's radio personality, Lisa Stanley. I slid right in for a good Sunday night. <laughs> I'm back, just when you thought it was safe, here I am. All right, good evening everyone, here and around the world, because we are streaming live tonight. We invite, yes, we invite you to use the hashtag High on Beauty and hashtag Hollywood Beauty Awards on social media. Ah, oh, this is a bit of bad news, so I'm sorry. Unfortunately, honoree Olivia Holt and presenter Anna Lynn McCord could not be with us tonight. They both just lost loved ones. Oh, that's horrible. Well, we're sending our condolences and prayers to the family and to them, of course. All right, tonight we are benefiting Helen Woodward Animal Center, a charity that is near and dear, yes, to our hearts. In fact, roll the tape. Well, this is Harvey. And Harvey was named in honor of the incredible work that was done by our staff as well as all the incredible groups that were down there after Hurricane Harvey. The end of August, the terrible hurricane in uh, Houston hit and left a lot of people devastated. There was a conversation on Tuesday. We were ready to fly out on Wednesday. So within 72 hours, Helen Woodward was able to put together a team of four people and we flew out to Houston and we were able to help out with the relief effort in that community and all of the animals affected. We were able to bring back 70 animals, both dogs and cats, on a flight that was generously donated by Southwest Airlines. I would love to think that there's never going to be another disaster. We know it'll happen and we want to be there to help. We need the support of donors to make sure that we can keep being there in times like these. And we know that if you love animals as much as we do, that you'll want us to be there too. I almost love animals more than humans, sorry. All right, here to present the Special Recognition Award is Dr. Marina. Hello, I've been practicing veterinarian uh, for over 35 years at Kawinga Pet Hospital and I've seen it all. I'm proud to give this special award to Jessica Gerke of Helen Woodward Animal Center for the heroic work. Please, Jessica Gerke, give generously to this foundation 
for our best furry friends. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Marina. Okay, let's get this show on the road. It's time for our first honoree, and here to present outstanding achievement in special effects, makeup, Academy Award winner, and 2017 HBA honoree, Joel Harlow, with special guest, Dr. Zayas of the original Planet of the Apes. Dr. Zayas, yes, uh, what yes. an honor it is to co-present with you tonight. Yes. I thought you were dead. Yes, a great deal of people thought that I was dead. Everyone did. They thought I died of that nuclear explosion. But with the help of Brian Penicus, I'm back. <laughs> yes, and the chance to present with you to Rick Baker is an opportunity to die for. Th uh, thank you, I'm flattered. Uh, let's now take a look at the work of the legendary Rick Baker. I think it was 1984, I got a call from John Landis. Uh, said that Michael Jackson wants to do a, a rock video. He actually he wants to do it, something that's unusual. He wants to make it a short film. The song Thriller, which I actually wasn't familiar with. I was a nervous about making up the King of Pop, but it turned out to be great. He was a willing subject to it, which is a, a really great thing for a makeup artist to have somebody who wants to be made up. But my stress went away when the first day we filmed Michael and the dancers dancing downtown Los Angeles, and when I just saw the Thriller dance happening in front of my eyes uh, for the first time live, look at what amazing things happening in front of your face right here. Rick Baker is undoubtedly the king of creature effects and Hollywood's master monster maker. An 11-time Academy Award nominee and winner of seven Oscars, Rick entered the world of special effects makeup working on The Exorcist, Star Wars, and King Kong. It wasn't long before he earned his first Academy Award for his creation of the werewolf in an American werewolf in London. Shortly after, he worked with director John Landis once again, bringing one of the most famous music videos to life with Michael Jackson's 1983 Thriller. Having become a household name in prosthetic makeup, he worked with Michael Jackson once more on Captain EO. From his Oscar-winning Sasquatch in Harry and the Hendersons to transforming Ron Perlman on Beauty and the Beast, Rick was constructing creatures around the clock. He lent his special effects talents to Coming to America with Eddie Murphy, Tim Burton's Ed Wood with Johnny Depp, Batman Forever, The Nutty Professor, The Men in Black franchise, Mighty Joe Young, Life, and Planet of the Apes. Rick continued to earn Academy Awards for Ron Howard's How the Grinch Stole Christmas and The Wolfman. His makeup creations came to life in all genres in Gorillas in the Mist, Gremlins 2, The Ring, The Haunted Mansion, Hellboy, Norbit, Enchanted, and Tropic Thunder. Retirement didn't stop Rick from crafting for the silver screen. In 2014, he returned to the studio for Maleficent. Honored with a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Rick Baker's career goes down in Hollywood movie history. Yes, wow, that was pretty impressive, even for a human. <laughs> it is, uh, and you know what, that is the tip of a very big iceberg. You know, it is impossible to sum up in one minute what Rick has meant to myself and to generations of makeup artists, and truthfully, to the art of makeup as a whole. He is a legend in this field, and he demonstrated in a very real, practical, physical, tangible way that movie magic can be achieved. And this is before computer-generated imagery. He was creating true movie magic. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with Rick on a number of projects, uh, and I have always been inspired by him. I continue to be inspired by him. 
Um, and I'm humbled tonight to be able to, to invite Rick to the stage and accept this award. Wow, I, thank you, Joel. That was a great uh, introduction. And it's kind of weird seeing your life flash in front of your eyes like that, you know. <laughs> it kind of, kind of scared me. You know, I just feel like I'm one of the most fortunate people in the world because I managed to turn my hobby into my occupation, you know. I mean, I, I started out as a kid who wanted to make monsters and make masks, and, you know, I would have to save my allowance and mow a lot of lawns in order to just to get the materials to do this. And the fact that people actually pay me to do something that I did for fun and for enjoyment, and this is how I entertain myself, I mean, I feel guilty that they're paying me. And they're also paying for the materials and for other people, um, like Joel, you know, to work with me so I can do things bigger and better than I ever could have done on my own. And somehow it just doesn't seem right, you know, like I said, I feel guilty, you know, and I feel so, but every day that I wake up, I, I feel so lucky, and, uh, uh, you know, I have a, a beautiful life and a beautiful wife, and now I have a Hollywood Beauty Award, so, you know, thank you very much. Please welcome to the stage 2017 HBA Makeup Award winner, Angela Levin. Good evening. From creating looks for magazine covers to red carpet, here are the nominees for the Rick Baker Makeup Awards. Anthony H. Newman has created looks for Katy Perry, Adele, Jesse J, Cindy Crawford, and more. With work featured in Marie Claire, Vogue Ukraine, and Harper's Bazaar China, he has designed and consulted for music videos with Tuvlo, Katy Perry, Jesse J, and for major international campaigns with MAC Cosmetics and Nike. For their 30th anniversary, Makeup Forever selected Anthony with a team of hand-picked makeup artists to curate a limited edition eyeshadow palette. From the red carpet to the runway, he has worked with Oscar de la Renta, Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi, Yves Saint Laurent, and beyond. Matthew Van Leeuwen has created makeup looks for some of the most famous faces in film and music. Jennifer Lopez, Penelope Cruz, Scarlett Johansson, Selma Hayek, just to name a few. With looks on the cover of Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, Rolling Stone, Marie Claire, Elle, and more, his work can also be seen in campaigns for L'Oreal Paris, Bulgari, Biore, and H. Stern. In music, Matthew has designed makeup for Shania Twain and for music videos with Leanne Rimes. A global artistry ambassador for Marc Jacobs Beauty, Sarah Tano has worked with Gigi Hadid, Suki Waterhouse, Dakota Johnson, and with leading photographers from Karl Lagerfeld to Stephen Klein. With makeup looks on the covers of Elle, Vanity Fair, and Billboard, her makeup is perhaps most noted for her iconic collaborations with Lady Gaga. Her personal makeup artist from the start, Sarah is responsible for creating looks from the international tours to music videos, the red carpet, and for TV. In 2016, she earned a Creative Arts Emmy for her work on American Horror Story Hotel. goes to Sarah Tano. Oh 
my God, you guys, I just met Rick Baker. <laughs> Such an icon of inspiration since I was little as a makeup artist. And uh, I, uh, I have to thank the Hollywood Beauty Awards. It's just so awesome to have something that honors the village that it takes behind the scenes. Like, it's really incredible. And uh, the amazing makeup artists that were in the category with me, Anthony and Matthew, always a source of inspiration and so incredible. And I, I feel so honored to, to accept this, and I'm so nervous. <laughs> but uh, I have to thank my family, because I grew up in a really small town in Ohio, and everyone thought it was kind of a joke that I wanted to be a makeup artist, or that this was even a real career. And uh, they made fun of me for not going to college, and not wanting to be a lawyer. And uh, <laughs> so thank you to my mother, my brother, my father in heaven, I hope I make you proud. And uh, thank you. <laughs> my fiance that's here, because he always carries my kid in, no matter how late I get home from set, and that deserves a round of applause in itself. <laughs> and the House of Gaga. My creative partners, Lady Gaga and Frederica Spiras, for really being my partners in my second family. Thank you guys so much. I guess you're wondering why these guys have these helmets on. Well, this is a new award honoring science and beauty. Check this out. Well, I came across a paper by Dr. Andre Mester, which was written back in 1965. This paper addressed the ability for low light laser therapy on the ability to regrow hair. He got like 100 mice. He found out that the lasers were growing the hairs back faster when they had shaved off the hairs. And he was like, wait a minute, there's no ulcers, there's no masses. He wrote a paper on it and just sat there for uh, for many years, nobody really paid attention to it, so that's when I picked it up and I said, "Hey, he used 680 nanometer. That was the that was like the the key. He used the specific thing, but the laser that he used was very big. So we said, how do we shrink that so we can have coverage of the scalp and everything?" Millions of women suffer from hair loss, and for these women, their alopecia is not a trivial or a vanity issue. Hair loss has real psychological and medical implications. I had struggled with hair loss since I was 32 years old. Coming from a family of physicians, I tried all of the latest prescription drugs for hair loss, but none of them have worked for me. With my PhD in biomedical engineering, and as a former NASA scientist, I knew there had to be a better solution that allowed me to rid myself of medications and regain my hair using technology. I decided to dedicate my skills and expertise to create the best home hair restoration and hair health device. The Theradome LH80 is the world's first and only FDA cleared laser hair health and restoration device. The Theradome LH80 uses a proprietary full scalp helmet design with 80 laser diodes to emit light energy at the optimal wavelength for hair growth. This light energy is absorbed by the hair follicles, stimulating cell metabolism and increasing blood flow. This process creates the optimal environment for the scalp for hair to grow thicker and fuller. Together, we can make hair loss a thing of the past. Here to present to Theradome's inventor, Tamim Hamid, is our very first timeless beauty, Barbara Eden. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I am so happy to be here on this very special occasion honoring one of our American heroes. What makes this evening so special for me is that we're honoring a NASA scientist who has continued to devote his innovative talents to 20th century technology. And also because, well, you know, Jeannie always did have a soft spot in her heart for NASA scientists. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce our man of the hour, Tamim Hamid. Wow, 
this is this is a tremendous honor. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as a special thank you for Michelle and, and Otis and Pamela. They've done a great job here. Such a wonderful event. Um, thank you for recognizing the significance of this technology. It's truly changing the way people all, people all around the world. Uh, we're in 57 countries and growing, so it's amazing. But you know, what's really uh, it, what's really special for me is when I was living in France and I was 15 years old and I was watching I Dream a Genie uh, in French. But um, um, one of the things I told my mother is I said, you know. Um, how can I, how can I uh, go to, uh, I want to work for NASA, be a, be a NASA scientist, and be, uh, have a house on the beach in Cocoa Beach, just like Major Anthony Nelson. So sure enough, sure enough, when I was I graduated out of college, I went out and worked for NASA, bought the house in Cocoa Beach, and invented the Theradome. So thank you. This is actually, and here I am in receiving an award from Barbara Eden, which is, I can't believe that, you know, the circle is now complete for me. So thank you. I really appreciate it. So this high honor, it really affirms that you guys believe in our work too. And so thank you. Yes, and it really does work, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Here to present outstanding achievement in hairstyling, Elizabeth Banks and Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> you were very interested in those, weren't you? <laughs> Sam was very interested <clears throat> in those helmets. I was back there. Um, <laughs> I was trying to get us a helmet, Smokey. Yeah. All right, vital, essential, creative. These are some of the words used to describe hairstylist Camille Friend, who has helped to create many iconic characters on film, including some of mine. Not just for you, me too. She okay. hooked me up for Django Unchained, Hateful Eight. Uh, let's take a look at Camille's work. So I've worked on a lot of movies with Elizabeth Banks. This is just one story I was thinking about. We did this movie called Meet Dave, and it was here in LA when we made movies here in LA. And we had done the whole movie, and then they had like a week in New York of shoots, and they decided they weren't gonna take us. So I was bummed, Elizabeth was bummed. So the first day they get there, her hair's not going well. So my phone starts ringing about nine o'clock. I didn't answer. The next thing you know, I was on a plane because Elizabeth was like, you have to bring my hairdresser, Camille. She knows my hair. She knows what to do. And she's been like, she stood behind me like that my whole career. A master in period looks and wig creations for the silver screen, Camille Friend was destined to become an in-demand Hollywood hairstylist. She started out in television, quickly earning a primetime Emmy nomination for Third Rock from the Sun before launching into film with 8 Mile the Academy Award nominated Ray and Coach Carter. Soon she was leading the hair department for The Pursuit of Happiness, Dream Girls, Norbit, and The Secret Life of Bees. Styling for Jaden Smith on The Karate Kid and Elizabeth Banks on the next three days, People Like Us and What to Expect When You're Expecting, Camille has also headed up hairstyling for The Help, Rock of Ages, Django Unchained, House of Lies and Miles Ahead with Don Cheadle. Making her mark in the world of superheroes and blockbuster franchises, she ran the hair departments for Captain America The Winter Soldier, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 and 2, The Hateful Eight, Captain America Civil War, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and more recently on Marvel's Black Panther. Invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, Camille's career is full speed ahead. Having worked on Catherine Bigelow's Detroit, Marvel's forthcoming New Mutants, and with Samuel L. Jackson on M. Night Shyamalan's Glass. Camille, 
You give actors confidence. You give friends love and support. You give 175% your quote <laughs> to everything that you do. And tonight, you gave me the chance to stand real close to Sam Jackson. <laughs> oh, you make that sound like a wonderful thing. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to say something special about you, Camille, but I don't really have to. It was all right there on screen. I remember meeting you on Coach Carter and you know talking to Robert about you and you watching Robert do me. And when your time came and Robert left, Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming with me. Uh, and I love having you around, and I just love talking to you. You know that. You know, Camille is like one of my best friends in the morning. Just, I'm not a morning person, but when I see her, my morning's automatically better. You know, thank you so much for doing that for me and for being there with me all the time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Camille Friend. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you guys so much. I just want to thank first the Hollywood Beauty Awards for this honor. I'm so grateful, humbled to receive this. I want to first thank Elizabeth Banks and Sam Jackson. Elizabeth, quote unquote, we call her Banks. She has taught me that you can have it all. She is a wife, mother, actress, activist, director, and producer. And what I've learned from her is to have laser focus on the things that you want. I love the sound of her voice. She makes me laugh so hard, I wanna cry. And she's been loyal to me for over 10 years. And one day I can't wait till she runs a studio in this town and she shows people how to do it. That's Elizabeth Banks. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. He is the master class. He is my OG client and my friend. I have known Sam since I was in my 20s. You know, that was like two weeks ago. <laughs> he has taught me excellence, longevity, and creative license. Sam is always expanding himself as an actor and is not afraid to take chances. He always allows me creative license in developing a character, and that's what I love about him. He always keeps it real, and no matter what he does, he brings his A-game. Susan Wright, the agent, the money girl. My agent, she's my friend, she's my confidant, and thank you for believing in me and listening to all my ideas because I have so many ideas. And thank you for being my co-creator and creating my dreams. I like to thank my family, Will and Marilyn Friend, those are my parents, to allowing me to, raise, to know who I am and raise me as a free spirit and raising a child that has a type A personality. Tim, my brother, I absolutely adore you and my coworker and my best travel buddy. <laughs> Thank you for your loyalty and your talent. Louis, I love you for loving me as I am. All right now, to all my hairstyling peeps, I've been blessed to travel all around the world and be with the most incredible people. And I just want to talk about what I've learned. Number one, always bring your A game. No matter if you're making a lot of money or a little money, bring your A game. Number two, nobody owes you anything. You have to earn it. Number three, you should have character and integrity. They go hand in hand. If you don't have either one of them, you need to find it. Number four, always strive for excellence. Always be for grateful for the opportunities that God has brings you and live your life freely. Thank you, everybody.
Please welcome recipient of the 2017 Hairstyling Award, Larry Sims, and 2015 Makeup Award winner, Autumn Moultrie. Great to be back at the HBAs tonight. Before we get to the next category, let's take a moment to meet the creator behind the holly. I was so excited to be invited to design the Hollywood Beauty Award uh, trophy. And here it is. So actually it represents a little bit of my own past because I started off designing mirror frames 25 years ago. And so there is a mirror frame, which is all to do with vanity. And then I went on to furnishings. And my furnishings are all about the curvature, so the curvature of the female form. And so I think both came beautifully represented in this um, new iconic Hollywood piece. So here we are, the Hollywood Beauty Awards. This is so awesome. <laughs> I love my holly, personally, that I won last year. And thank you, Christopher. It sits beautifully in my living room. <laughs> Yo, so before we introduce the nominees for this category, I have to say to everybody that is in this nominees, that, that, that's in this category. category, yes, yeah, I admire every single one of you guys' work. Like, I love and am inspired by all of you guys' jobs. So, yo, let's As see. As do I. Let's see what's going on. Let's see who's going to win. Well, you can tell everybody. Yeah, you can tell everybody. Cesar Ramirez began working with hairstylists from Orlando Pita to Guido Palau. Starting out at Dop Dop Salon, he began working with Elizabeth Berkeley. With looks seen on The X Factor, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and in W, Essence, Vogue, Latina, and Vanity Fair, he is styled for Sierra, Demi Lovato, Taraji P. Henson, Kim Kardashian, Jennifer Hudson, Lala Anthony, Beyonce, Rita Ora, and more. Working New York's runways, he has created hairstyles for Victor de Sousa and Narciso Rodriguez. Serving as the creative director for Dop Dop Salon, Caesar has also been appointed a global artistic director of L'Oreal's collection, Mitsani. Starting his career at L'Oreal, Johnny Wright went from lead educator to artistic style director. Leaving Chicago to work at Frederick Fakai Salon in Los Angeles, Johnny eventually styled First Lady Michelle Obama for Essence magazine. On the campaign trail, from conventions to Vogue cover shoots, he made the move to Washington, D.C. to become the first hairstylist of the United States. With work seen in Glamour, Ebony, Parade, Time, and InStyle, his clients have included Queen Latifah, Kerry Washington, Regina King, Jill Scott, Samira Wiley, and Tamron Hall. Creating hairstyles for the red carpet, TV, and film, Takesha Sturdivant Drew has worked on the Oscar-nominated movie, Ray. Are We There Yet? Suits, Chris Rock's I Think I Love My Wife, and more. Her work has been featured in Woman's Health, Glamour, and in ads for Neutrogena, L'Oreal, OPI, and Movado. Collaborating with renowned photographers Annie Leibovitz and Marc Baptiste, Takesha's celebrity clientele includes Carrie Washington, Lucy Liu, Amber Riley, Sinai Lathan, Gina Torres, Gabrielle Union, Ashley Graham, and Regina Hall. And the Holly goes to... Shottown, Johnny Wright. <laughs> Johnny! Thank you. Oh, I guess so, I don't know. Thank you. It's kind of cute? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that guy. 
I just took one last bite of my chicken. Um, I'm, I'm glad I, I won, because I've been starving myself for about 16 days. They said high-waisted. I had to pull it together. Hey, guys. Um, thank you to the Hollywood Beauty Awards, first of all. Um, this is such an honor. And thank you to Autumn and Larry. You know, Larry and I worked together for so many years. And he won last year, so I'm happy to be receiving this award for him. Um, this is such an honor. Um, to my fellow nominees, Caesar, you know I adore and love you. You are a genius. Um, and, 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 and I, I cannot be more than um, grateful to be a part of this category with you. And to Keisha, we share Carrie together. You are amazing, and I really appreciate your love and support over the years. Um, what I've always said is that we are um, the illustration of people's story. We are part of the illustration of people's story. We, we give you the visual of what they're trying to say. And I have been extremely blessed and honored to be able to be with the first African-American First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama. Let's give her a hand. My, my hands have literally touched history, and um, it was such an honor to serve our country in that way and to help illustrate her story for the past, you know, eight years. I was there for both terms. Um, but outside of that, you know, I really just do what I love. And I love doing hair. And I love the women that are in my chair. And I love to be able to, to talk to them and to learn more about them, to really be a part of their lives and to help them complete their story. And that's what I love most about what I do, is my connection with the clients that are in my chair. So this is such an honor. Um, I, I, I really wasn't expecting this, I'll be honest. I, I, I wasn't. I just literally eat, ate a bit, bite of chicken, and I'm just <laughs> not expecting it. But um, this is such an honor. And um, to Yene Damtu, who is here with me, um, Yene um, was my assistant for Derek. Hey, Derek Roche, how are you? I just saw your beautiful face. Um, Yene Damtu was my assistant for the past 10 years. She moved from Los Angeles to DC to be with me. And now she is the primary hairstylist for Michelle Obama. So we have to give her a hand. She's here with me. And I really appreciate everything you've done for me. You have helped me do what I do for the past 10 years. And I appreciate you. She's not my assistant anymore. She's out on her own. She owns her own salon now in Virginia. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, really proud of you. Um, but other than that, guys, thank you. I don't I didn't know how I was gonna put this. Thank you. This is cute, right? Thank you, guys. Mary Jo Buttafuoco made worldwide headlines when she was shot in the face by her husband's teenage lover, Amy Fisher. The shocking shooting left Mary Jo with a partially paralyzed face. Dr. Babaka Zizadeh's innovation and expertise in complex facial nerve and reconstructive plastic surgery led to the triumphant and life-changing procedure for Mary Jo Buttafuoco. After years of being afraid to look in the mirror and unable to smile, Mary Jo was introduced to Dr. Azizadeh in 2006. Using a nerve stimulator, he was able to identify and tag which microscopic nerves were working and which were misfiring. Two extensive surgeries later, including a facelift to even out the aging process, Mary Jo is smiling from ear to ear thanks to Dr. Azizadeh. A driving force in the advancement of facial plastic surgery, he is a medical visionary and passionate humanitarian. Today, he is the lead instructor for a stem cell and nerve regeneration project at Cedar sinai 
Dr. Azizadeh's groundbreaking procedures and position as chairman and director of the Center for Advanced Facial Plastic Surgery draws patients from around the globe. Giving back, he works with Global Smile Foundation for children's cleft lip palate repair. Having published numerous textbooks and articles, received many honors and awards, Dr. Azizadeh has been sought out by major media outlets for his expertise and anti-aging treatments. Here to present the Beauty Enhancement Award to Dr. Babak Azizadeh, Mary Jo Buttafuco. Thank you. In 2005, I met Dr. Azizadeh after an appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show to discuss the facial paralysis from my gunshot wound. He had been studying the effects of facial paralysis in people who suffered from Bell's palsy, brain tumors, and trauma. He put a team together to help correct some of my injuries. I'm proud to say that since that time, we have founded the Facial Paralysis and Bell's Palsy Foundation. They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and that is true, but it doesn't hurt to have a fantastic plastic surgeon either. And so I am honored and privileged to present this award to my doctor and my friend, Babak Azizadeh. Thank you. Um, as physicians, we don't really get awards, so this is really, really lovely. And I want to thank the Hollywood Beauty Awards. This is really amazing. I really appreciate the honor. And um, I want to thank uh, a few really, really important people. My wife, who's here, who's supported me for the past 20 years, and I couldn't be here really without her and my beautiful kids at home. I don't know if they're streaming this or not, but. Maybe. And um, my parents, my sister, my mom is a hairdresser. So this is really cool. I'm going to go, you know, tell her about this because, uh, you know, I think there are a lot of unsung heroes uh, that are behind the scene. Uh, I also want to thank my colleagues and my partners who've inspired me, but most importantly, my patients like Mary Jo, who really every day I want to think about and do everything I can to give them better quality of life, enhancement, beauty, aesthetics, reconstruction, all of it goes hand in hand. So it's really a pleasure and an honor and thank you so much. Please welcome star of Marvel's Black Panther, Danai Gurira. Good evening, Tim Suchai Buchanan is not only my dear, dear friend, but also a brilliant makeup artist receiving outstanding achievement in makeup tonight. See for yourself. I got a call from Janet's manager, Jaime Mendoza and said, hey, listen, Janet's doing a photo shoot. We'd like for you to come in to do it. When I got there, I was doing the dancers for the photo shoot. And on the third day of the photo shoot, Jaime Mendoza came to me, came up to me and said, hey, listen, what is your availability? So he was like, well, Janet has the Velvet Rope World Tour happening. She has the Soul Train Music Award happening. She has the One Doss in Rotterdam, and she has the Gold Deep Music video. If you're interested, it's all yours. So that's the start of a friendship and a relationship that is, has lasted 20 years now. Winner and four time nominee Tim Shuchai Buchanan has created countless famous makeup looks for superstars in film, TV, and music. With Janet Jackson's Velvet Rope Tour catapulting his career, Tim became her personal makeup artist on the All For You Tour. For her hit music videos Go Deep and Doesn't Really Matter, before working on memorable tours with Pink. The Believe in Farewell Tour with Cher and 24 7 with Tina Turner. 
he returned to work with Janet for the Super Bowl 36 halftime show, MTV icon and Janet Jackson live in Hawaii. Entering the world of film, Tim joined Janet once again on Nutty Professor 2 before becoming key makeup artist on Idlewild and landing his first department head title on Bill Condon's Dreamgirls with Anika Noni Rose and Jennifer Hudson. In 2008, he became department head on The Secret Life of Bees with Dakota Fanning, Queen Latifah, and Jennifer Hudson. Tim headed up the makeup departments for One Tree Hill, Californication, and House of Lies before Don Cheadle invited him to design and lead the makeup team on Miles Ahead. After being nominated for Hairspray Live, Glee, and So You Think You Can Dance, Tim's fourth Emmy nomination garnered a win for Outstanding Makeup on FX's hit music series Feud with Susan Sarandon and Jessica Lange in 2017. Tim continues to create memorable looks, more recently on American Crime Story, and with Lupita Nyong'o, Denai Guerrera, and Angela Bassett on Marvel's Black Panther. Before I give you your well-deserved Holly, someone very, very special wants to congratulate you. Tim, you are truly an artist, and I'm so proud of you. And I just want to thank you for sharing with me and so many others your creativity, your, your expertise, and your kindness. Congratulations on your Hollywood Beauty Award for outstanding achievement in makeup. So proud of you. Congratulations. I love you. Tim, um, every black girl does have magic, yes. But sometimes she needs a, mu a magician, you know. And uh, that's what you have been. You have been an amazing person to sit in the chair of every day that I sat on that set and then I just took you with me wherever I went. And I realized uh, I was recently with you in South Africa having a wardrobe malfunction of sorts. And I walk into my hotel room, not sure what the heck I'm gonna do, and Tim has sorted it out. Because this man is all encompassing, okay? He thinks beyond just putting your face together. He thinks about the whole picture because he is a holistic artist and a man of excellence, integrity, kindness, gentleness, sweetness, and truth, and love. I love you. You deserve this more than I could ever say, and I'm honored to be here to present it to you. And on behalf of all the black girls who always need a little extra magic, thank you for being a magician. Come get your holly. Oh my gosh, I was not ready for that at all. Um, um, you know, it's like, I went on a trip to, back to Thailand in, for the holidays, and I, got, I went to my little, you know, fisherman's village, and, and I literally sat there and go, oh my gosh. And all the accolades that I'm getting, that it, it's, I never dreamt that this would be how my life would turn out, you know. Um, um, I would love to thank Be Hollywood Beauty Awards for such an honor and also thank you for recognizing the artisans that works behind the scenes.